Hey folks, so today it's a rest day for me, which means I'm still on the machine, uh, but I'm in like, civilian clothes, nice Harry Potter t-shirt and a, another pair of shorts, but anyway. But what I want to talk today uh, is about a new toy that I just got that I've not even taken out the box, not even tried anything with and just thought I'd just do a straight out the box uh, review of it. After all, this is YouTube and that's what people tend to do, at least judging by the videos my kids watch. Anyway, so... I've just got hold of the Citius Remix, I think it's, it's a Pro, 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 anyway, um, uh, seat pad, ta-da, ah, put that over there, um, yeah, which is supposed to make things revolutionary comfortable. Now I've looked uh, online at some of the bump before about it, just saying how you need to give it a few rows for it to wear in and uh, that it might slip around or whatever, but let's just see exactly how it feels. This is literally the first time I put this on. I didn't even realize it was this color. I thought I'd ordered the bright yellow one. Um, and put it on, so uh, let's do it that way. There we go, and sit on it. Oh, right, okay, so first impressions are, um, it's jabbing right into me, right into my misters. I've definitely got it on the way, right way around, I assume. I mean, you've got to figure the hole at the back matches the hole at the back for the, the V shape. Uh, although, actually, when you think about the amount of times I keep on saying, imagine you're sitting on a carrot that's sticking up your jacksie, it's exactly how this is feeling right now. So, yeah. Not the most comfortable at the moment. Maybe I'll have to read the, the, um, the instructions and see if I've got this on the right way around. But let's see how it feels. I'll just do a quick row and feel how we feel. See how we feel. Uh, I mean, posture-wise, I certainly feel this one a little bit more upright going through the row. It's helping me rock through the hips for sure, that's true. I don't really feel as though I'm slouching through my lower back through the stroke. Still not going to give it a 10 out of 10 for comfort yet. My sit bones are poking through two holes. One of them, it's either my boxer shorts, because I'm in just plain shorts, is catching on the hole, but... The bump at the front of it really does feel as though it's pressing into my, yeah, <laughs> not quite my misters, but I guess this is maybe why it says it needs a few rows to get used to and to wear it in properly. All right, so I've been doing all this around about 15 strokes per minute and around about the pace I'd expect for that. About two minute splits. Let's take it up a little bit, see how it feels. Still feel I've got the back engagement and things right. Yep. Pace for 26 strokes a minute is what I'd expect. So it's not harming my pace. And oddly, Apart from my boxer short issues, it feels more comfortable at this rate than it did below. Let's go down a bit, just recover. Yeah, so. But there's definitely. I feel as though I'm rocking up through my hips properly as I'm releasing. It's like it's, it's not really letting me do a slouch. It's quite an interesting result. I mean, I'll watch this video back and then suddenly think, what was I on about? I'm slouching everywhere. But if you think, when I watch my own rowing technique, I know the three issues I have are a bit of a slouch at the back, an over lean at the front, and a butt scoot where my butt goes shooting back before I engage with the catch. And I mean, I've got a mirror over here I can look in. It doesn't look as though I've got the butt scoot. The over lean might still be happening, but then the 
the over lean at the front is one of the reasons why I have the butt scoot so and I don't think I've got that collapse at the back I'm going to take it up to 30 strokes a minute just for a quick test to see how it feels not for long uh, but anyway here goes Putting in run about the amount of leg power as I would at this pace, at this stroke rate, sorry. Still feels comfortable. And you know what? Having been on for four minutes now, I'll slow down, hang on. Having been on for four minutes now, already that instant feeling of it jabbing up through. It is perineum, isn't it? You'll correct me if I'm wrong on that. But yeah, that feeling of it pressing into that doesn't feel anywhere near as invasive <laughs> as it did before. It actually now feels quite... This feels very comfortable and natural. Hey, oof. I would have put money on me saying something completely different after the first time I just sat on this. So I've been recommended it by a couple of rowers, Rod Chin and Kevin Scott. It's Kevin Scott, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and you know what? I could be sold on this. Never been one for a seat pad before. I've had one of the standard Concept 2 black ones. It's just a piece of foam. Um, in fact, can I? No, I can't see it anywhere. Um, yeah, and I, I, I would have especially, I mean, this thing cost, there we go, this thing cost about 100 and, 110 euros, I think it cost me, which is a heck of a lot of money to spend on something that's just a, um, is this going to help or not? But actually, and even to be honest, see, taking it off and sitting back on the, the standard Concept 2 seat, you can really tell the difference of how, how hard this feels versus... Uh, how this felt. So that's really quite interesting. But I mean, as you can tell by what I just said about the price, I paid full whack for this. I mean, there's a right now there's a um, a code. I'm trying to remember what it is. Is it No Ass Pain 2020? I think is the code that you can enter on their website, and it gives you a 10% discount. So I did that, um, and so far enough, I'll share on I'll share on that code. But this is not a sponsored. I'm not getting any money from the. Uh, Citius Remix people for the Pro, 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 however to be talking about it. I just literally got it through. Still wanted to make a video for you guys, having been on a rest day today. Um, and thought I'd try this out, and you know what? I could be one over on this. It's a shame I didn't get the bright yellow one, but... Uh, I even put in the thing, please send me the bright yellow one if you can. So that's the only disappointment, to be honest. Uh, and if all, all else fails, I can use it as a Halloween mask. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, there we go. Right, there's a nice wee review for you, a nice normal one. Um, how about you just go and do a 2K for yourself now? All right, bye bye. Wait, 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 don't go yet, don't go yet. Um, I was just packing everything away. I just suddenly actually looked into the box properly, and what I found was two things. One, a handy little bag for taking it places when you're going for races and things. But more importantly, these guys, which are inserts that go in the bottom of the seat pad uh, in order to make this more firm. Now, from how I just felt just then on the start of this, I'm not too sure how firm I'd want this to be. However, over time, if this starts to get a little bit uncomfortable, I don't really th think I'm getting quite the support I need from it, I'll start going through these little foam inserts to see what they're like. But for the time being, no, don't need them. Uh, but let's just see how we got on. I'll start using these in the sessions to come up and let's, um, I'll keep on reviewing it, I'm sure. You know me, I won't sharp about it, so <laughs> you'll know exactly what's going on. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.